ladies and gentlemen, we are live after major technical difficulties. Our first technical difficulty, I recorded a fire episode, shared my deepest soul with you, and there was no sound when I uploaded, but it's okay, we're back. We're gonna do it better than ever because we have Wham, it's the holidays, and it's last Christmas coming at you. Really not the last Christmas, but it's the jam. One special. Shout out to George Michael, rest in peace. Love you, love this song. And if nothing else resonates on this video, I want you to literally go in your car and listen to Last Christmas because it will make everything better. But let's dive in. No products today, trying something a little bit new. Listen, the show is brand new, Live with Ned. Tools, tips, strategies so that you can live your best life. I'm passionate, passionate about sharing these things and building a platform so that you can live your best life. And it's actually what I wanna to talk to you about today. Let me just get comfortable. So, sorry, I can't focus with, uh, with Wham! because I love it so much. So, I'm a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk, as you know. Now, if you don't listen or follow Gary, you must. I learned so much from him, and I think it's so interesting because this is what I wanna to talk to you about. I love him because he's not selling to me. And he was talking about, this was, this was a, this was a game-changing moment. I was driving, to work on Friday, last Friday after Thanksgiving. And I was listening to a podcast. And by the way, side note, Tony Robbins has a great little nugget, no extra time. So driving to work, folding the laundry, exercising, be listening to podcasts, watching videos, getting better. It's a great time to develop yourself personally, professionally, no extra time. I digress. But let's dive in. So I'm driving to work, listening to Gary, a keynote, his podcast, one of his podcasts. And he was talking about this idea of what's your ultimate? Like, what's the ultimate for you? What's that long-term goal of like the thing? And for him, he was talking about his legacy. So he reverse engineers all the way back into what he does today. And that's what you feel. So I think a lot of us and myself included, we make the mistake of the short-term sell, this race to close, and it's not about that. We're all in sales, and I want you to think about your, your long-term business goal or just your long-term passion project or just the ultimate for you. And I literally sat back in my car, I was still focused on the road, and I thought about what's like one of the ultimate things for me. And I've always wanted to have like a talk show a platform like Ellen or Oprah to walk in and see a studio audience. And, and it's interesting. When I was working with the Jonas Brothers, shout out to the Jonas Brothers and the Jonas family, love them. I loved this idea. It was right around the time Twitter was starting. And I loved this idea. At the drop of a dime, they could reach hundreds of thousands and millions of people and affect change. I wanted to do that. I wanted to build a platform so that I could share good. I could share tools and tips and strategies. And so this has been evolving. And that's how this, this, this show really started. On Friday, I was driving to work. I was like, that's my ultimate. It's not about closing a sale tomorrow or getting you to do something today. My goal is to get the call many years down the road. You got the slot. You have the show like Ellen. You have that platform, but it's one by one by one. Reverse engineer. Instead of the, the short-term sell, because no one likes to be sold to, let's think about the long-term value. How to create a lifelong raving fan because you've provided value, value, value. You're not worried about the short term. I love that. Gary, I appreciate you. I so love this nugget. And if one person literally sits back today and has the moment that I had, it says, wow, this isn't about closing that sale on Tuesday. This is about what? For Gary, it's his legacy. For me, it's maybe a show like Ellen. What's the long-term play instead of the short-term sell? That's value. That's how you create raving, genuine fans. I will buy Gary's books. I'll buy his sneakers. I'll support him until the end of time because I'm not being sold to. I'm getting value from him. And so, my friends, that's what I'm shifting to. With these shows, there's nothing being sold. My number one goal is to just provide you genuine value so that if one person leaves and they're like, whoa, I got a nugget, I got a tool, I got a tip, I'm moving an inch, that's my goal. That lights me up. When you comment and you're like, 
Thank you so much. That really helped me. That's, that lights me up, legit. That's why I believe I'm here to motivate, to inspire, to share tools and products and things so that when you watch this, when you sign on to Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're watching this or listening to this, you move an inch. So today the nugget is this from Gary. Forget about the short-term sell. Whatever sales or business you're in, think about your customer in a new light. One where you can literally just provide them more value than they could have ever dreamed so that they hang up the phone or close the email and they're like, wow, they're amazing. That's the difference maker. No short-term sales. It's long-term value. What's your ultimate? Think on that today. Let's take it out with a little George Michael. I hope and I pray that you have sound because last time we had no sound, but we ran it back again because I have much love. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't do this, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby. Have an awesome day. Happy Tuesday. Live with Ned. Episode three. Appreciate you watching. Peace.